Noisy Pixel. What's up nerds and welcome to another Noisy Pixel response video where I respond to some of your comments throughout the week and maybe before if I can't find any so get out there and comment. What are you doing? Before I get into the comments I'd like to speak my mind on something. It kind of sucks for people that hear that Final Fantasy 7 Remake is released in other regions. I say this coming from the North American region. I mean, it sucks on a lot of fronts because if it released early in North America, I would have picked it up. But I know that people in another region would have been like, well, come on, man. Like, we've waited six years for this. In five years, I don't know. And I could see why this kind of made a chain reaction to delay other big games coming up. It sucks for gamers and it sucks for developers because I know they want to do like a huge PR push right at the end, right to get those pre-order numbers in. Another thing, you have review embargoes, so you have all these writers and stuff tied to these embargoes and yet they can't push anything out. It's the world we live in right now. Huge sorry to the developers and publishers that are going through this, but if you are playing the game, I hope you're enjoying yourself. Let me know if you're into these early releases in certain regions or if you're more about all about that firm street date so everyone plays at the same time, let me know. Moving on to comments. M says on the Ark of Alchemist review, game is a boar fest, but weebs will dig it regardless. I'm not sure if that's a pun for the digging because it is kind of a kind of an excavation style game, but hey, good job on the, the wordplay there, sir. And the game is a boar fest. Next comment. Campbell Gilpin says on the Control the Foundation review, Good review. I think it matches my impressions. I was happy to have more control to play and there were some aspects I really liked, but I'm hoping the next expansion is a little more impressive. And I agree. If you watch the review, I do say that it was it was pretty empty and rather repetitive. Unlike the, the actual game, that, that rarely happens in the, the normal game, which was more of a Metroidvania style approach. They had that approach using the new powers in this one, but it just didn't deliver. Putra Ade Castanto says on the Debtor School console review, thanks for the review, BT dub, it's not sarcasm. We live in a world where <laughs> saying something is good is like very snarky, you know? It's like everyone turned into Chandler from Friends. Like every compliment, is there's a hidden message behind it. But thank you for clearing that up for us. Putra. Feng... Fengi Tatsuki. Fengi Tatsuki says on the Disaster Report 4 Summer Memories review, I saw the graphics and frames on Switch were terrible, but a little better on PS4. And I saw this game, let me tell you, nothing makes it look better. If you don't like the look of it, I mean, maybe the frames will be improved here and there, but the graphics are pretty, uh, pretty spot on. It's not a graphically intensive game by any means, but I don't think that's the point of it. I think it's supposed to be that campy, uh, spectacle of a game, and it, it delivers if that's what you're looking for, and that's what the series is known for, so yeah, thanks for the comment. At S. 7 Vinth 1785. Not sure if that's the year you were born in or if it's a year that just means a lot to you. So let's take a second to look at it. Now I'm curious. This is the quality video you get here. What happened in 1785? That is like the most boring year in American history. Why is it your screen? Why is it in your screen name? Was there other sevenths? I'm not sure. Why is that? year is so important to you. Regardless, let's go into your comment. Lel, I think you meant lol. I stopped caring about DOA franchise. Koei Tech, I think you meant Koei Tecmo, just treating DOA as quick cash for horny gamers. And hey, if Koei Tecmo's not doing it, someone else is. Rather it be someone capable of creating characters like Anuka than someone who just does some, uh, some Futa stuff in one of those uh, 3D creators. <laughs> What does this show come to? <laughs> Next comment. Costary X says on the prison princess review, finally something to play on the bus. Once we are allowed on buses again, that is. And I'm glad you bring attention to quarantine and self quarantine. That's um, very admirable of you. Noisy Pixel is pretty much in quarantine as well. It's probably not a game that you should play on the bus for just, you know, it's just not one of those games. Yeah, it's just not one of those games. But if that's, if that's the only place you have to play games, well, you gotta do what you gotta do. Have some discretion. Maybe. Nuke terrorist. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay. Uh, funny screen name. Uh, Resident Evil 3 remake review. This game stole content from Fallout, was nothing like the original, cut most of the story and game modes, 
How does it get rated a 9 out of 10? That's crazy. Let me tell you, man. Resident Evil 3 Remake's really good. But like I said in the review, I've played Resident Evil games and I've beaten them in a shorter amount of time. When I was 11, I used to beat Resident Evil 1 in like two and a half hours to get that infinite rocket launcher. This one at least makes you collect points where you have to play it over and over again. There's multiple endings. There's various things to do and see. It's not a one and done type of game like when I finished that game I wanted to jump right back in and play it again and it was like 1 a.m. and I'm like you know what I'm just gonna play it again that is something that I have not felt in a lot of video games so hey uh, if you think it sucks and stole content from nah, I don't like Fallout so if if they took something from Fallout and made it they probably made it better so whatever next comment red crimson 101 102 says saints row 4 re-elected on switch for the review says a 7 out of 10 really ha 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 sr4 is worth more than that especially for a series that's better than gta nice opinion you know games games need to be criticized to a point it's the only way they can improve it was the last saints row that we got you know they need all the feedback that they can get if they're gonna revive that series which i haven't heard anything about next comment alan c says on shin sakai into the depth switch review really good simple non-bloated review how refreshing another good pun refreshing water <laughs> regardless yeah our reviews are very streamlined and we try to get straight to the point we condense the written review into a nice four or five minute video review and if you want like kind of drawn out ideas and stuff then read the review because that'll expand more on some of the points that we bring up on twitter at garnino says nisa is less than less than nisa not sure if it'll even be worth pirating and this is for the trails of cold steel 4 announcement that it's coming in fall 2020 people give nisa a lot of crap but i still have high hopes you know there's so much text to handle in that game my comment on the matter is if it sucks it sucks but i'm still gonna play it because i need to finish it like i've invested too much time to this series that it needs it needs to be over now for me at least if if you don't feel that then no one's no one's pressuring you no pressure here and that's it for comments now for games that i picked up last week again a little empty because no game stores are open but i did manage to get the persona 5 royale stillbook nice stillbook it comes with a, a card i'm not sure if other people get this same card but that's what i got also something i noticed this overlay might be backwards because this is supposed to be on this side right because you open up games like this, but they want it like this. Okay, so I'm not crazy. So this is the front of the game, but see? Do you see what I'm saying? It's backwards. Get your shit together, Atlas. And that's the show. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you're all staying safe and washing your hands. Have a great week.